And then the question is, is there hypermobilities nearby? Okay, and so in her case, right, we found this to be hypermobile. The muscles are okay, right? Remember, it wasn't that great, okay? It, it fired, but it was, it was too late, right? Stress test was positive, right? Hypo here, hypo here. So this poor guy is moving so much because this guy is stiff, this guy is stiff. The muscles, the ligaments said, I give up. You guys overstretched me, right? Muscles like, guys, I'm tired. I'm done, all right? And that's why she has her pain. Now, so for the fancy talk, right? So we're gonna say a patient comes in with sign and symptoms suggestive of a spondylolysis of L5 on S1 due to a pathomechanical diagnosis of excessive anterior translation of L5 on S1 due to a driver of adjacent hypermobility of L3 on L2 on L3 and a concentrated sacrum from below. Mm -hmm. See, it sounds fancy, right? But it's this, beautiful. right? Um, and then on top of that, right, um, added components, which uh, with the increase, the, with the added component which leading to path mechanical diagnosis is uh, poor ligamentous stability and poor deep muscle control of the transverse abdominal tympanies. Okay, so essentially, what am I doing? That's the problem. This. All right, what's the problem with this here? Transverse abdominis, multipitous, ligament, right? Hypo, L3, L4, um, continuous status cycle. Okay, so now, time to treat. Okay, so the assessment, you guys learn how to do MS1, same principles as MS2, okay? I'm gonna have, the guy that moves too much, all right? The guy that moves too much, right? I'm gonna have to do uh, muscle training, okay? Right? Guy moves too little, we gotta loosen this up. We're gonna save this for another day, all right? But we need to get this moving, all right? So we'll do extension pivots right now, okay? So just for a baseline, let's remind ourselves how far she could go. Okay, bend backwards before the pain comes in. Okay, okay. So I need to do what? Extension pivots here. What, what do I need to do over here, by the way? Stability, but remember, she's also getting what? Shooting pain, right? Because what's happening over here? Too much, too much extension, too much translation, right? So this poor nerve is getting what? Pinched, right? Compressed, right? So what do we have to do? Take the pressure off. So I'm actually gonna do what? Collection here, just to take the pressure off the nerve, right? Because every time you, you're, you're doing, this, right? So it's the nosis phonostesis patient, right? Right. right. You see how, let's say this this here was hitting the canal, and that's why the person has a stenosis, right? What are we doing, right? I'm just trying to what? Open that up. Take the pressure off the nerve. But more importantly, what you're really doing is getting motion, right? Nutrients. Get rid of all that edema. Just pumping it out. Pumping it out. Right? So you're doing this for what? help the healing process, okay? And then if you do grade one, grade two first, that's pain relief. Grade three, grade four, then you do mechanical just to relieve pressure off the nerve. Okay? All right? But then, I need to get more mobility over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do first, I'm just gonna do flexion here, just for the sake of showing you guys, let's see if it helps her or not. And then we wanna do the extension, okay? So lie down on your side. Okay, so I'll play up and last one. We did this already, right? We go flexion, okay? Bottom leg straight. Now, why did I do this side, okay? What's happening over here? Is she left side bending or right side bending? She's left side bending. What does that do to the very right. Open or close it? Open. Open, that's what we want, all right? So then, go to the superior segment. May I have his hand here? Pull it towards me and second. No, 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 let me do all the motion. Come on. I'm not that old, I can move you, okay? Hand with your head there, okay? Come over here. What's next? Log roll, bottom next straight for me, please. Okay, roll it towards me, okay? 
I'll control delete, right? Failed by a superior segment, right? And then squeeze out the last bit of motion and delete the pain away. So grade one, grade two, you see that? I'm barely moving, right? That's what, that's what grade one, grade two is, right? Usually when somebody's doing this, somebody's really acute pain, right? Some people say you should actually do nothing but breathe. But when I breathe and exhale, I'm actually causing a little bit of motion. That's it. And patients are like, what the heck is he doing? All right? Is it mm -hmm. their breathing? No, my breathing. Them, but with mm -hmm. them just taking deeper breaths? No, like me. When, when I breathe out like this, see, I exhale, I push down. I'm exaggerating. Okay. So I do this for what? Pure pain relief mechanoreceptors, right? But then, what I'm doing now, get more motion here to open up that nerve, right? Take the pressure off that nerve, right? Just doing this here. That's it, right? Remember, my hand doesn't have to be here, right? It was really just doing this. Then we talk about the sports. I say, hey, you hear? We got traded to the Rockets. Westbrook, hard and same team again? Get out of here, right? <laughs> uh, now the favorites to win it all, right? Except for the Lakers. But come on, Lakers, they have no bench. See? Yes. <laughs> okay? So usually, you do this for like 30 seconds, okay? And then what you do is come back over here again and you reassess flexion and say, yeah, is that opening better? Is that opening better? Mm. She needs a little bit more side bending. So, can you a little shake, please? Come over here, come over here. Boom, boom, boom. Remember, all control delete. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I need to do a little bit more side bending. Okay? Just like this. There you go. Alright, so then, and did you see the women's soccer team? Wow, 2 0. Did you go to the parade? That must have been amazing. I can't wait to go in next time. But if I would have went, I would have canceled your visit. Ha ha. Wouldn't do that. Okay, go. The parade was on Wednesday. Okay. So, let's test backward extension. Okay. Let's see if the pressure off the nerve made much of a difference. Okay. Can you stand, please? Okay. Face this way. Okay. And then bend backwards to when you feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so gain more motion. Alright? Took the pressure off the nerve. Alright? But I still need to adjust what? The high home mobility, right? So now I want to teach you guys how to do extension mobilizations, okay? Line five. What do you give me a look for? Just my face. Huh? Just my face. I need to work at that. You need to buy your mirror or something, okay? <laughs> Alright. So, around here we're stiff, right? So, what do I do again? Bend the knee here, find out which one's the stiff one here again. Uh, ah, right here. Okay? So, what do I do? Extend until I can't feel any motion, okay? Make the bottom leg straight again. Okay? So, what was her issue again? She can extend in what? Right side bending, alright? Right? What am I doing here? Extending and what? Left side bending. Eh, wrong move, Dr. E. You see? So, what up? Just move. Throw. Okay. Alright, so, over here, extend, make the bottom leg straight. Okay? You see what I'm doing too? When you make the bottom leg straight, I help them, I guide them. Okay? Cap it in here, I have this arm here. You see this here? That was reflection. Now we're doing extension. So we have to pull up over here, all right? 135 degrees or so, and you pull a deeper motion there. Stick your right? <laughs> It's so hot in here. Hand underneath your head over here. You can have your arm over here. And then what do I do again? Log roll, okay? And you really need to be what? Guarding the table because you're much more closer for this one, okay? So the same thing, control superior segment. Rotate out the last little bit of motion, and then you do this. You see how my chest is on her pelvis, inducing an anterior pelvic tilt? Yeah? Okay? You could do it this way. I actually personally don't like doing this way. I would rather hold the bottom and move the top like this. To me, it's much more easier. The only problem is make sure you don't push your form into her ribs because she 
might fracture her rib. But you're doing this, okay? So just do it nice and easy. Okay. Any questions on that? Okay, my guy is hot in here. I'm so scared so that I'm gonna sweat drops or crazy <laughs> here. I won't do that though, all right? I will do evasive maneuvers to prevent that, okay? <laughs> okay. okay. She needs a little bit more. A little more. <coughs> oh. okay. You see when I do mobilization? You see this here? Motion only here. Right? You don't see me doing sloppy motions, right? Very control, just it. I'm using my body weight. Yeah? Okay. Stand up. Reassess. Huh? Oh my god. You make you so self conscious. God. Okay, ready? <laughs> Bend backwards. Tell me when you feel it. Yes, yes, much better, right? Um, any pain though at the very end? No. Because we still have the SI issue, okay? <laughs> so remember, you cannot only use pain as whether the patient's getting better or not. Because I know that SI is still out of whack here, okay? Because one of the biggest things you need to do as a, as a professional is try to guess how they'll do, okay? I always try to see, so you know what? I didn't get a chance to do this. This is not gonna stay that long or this person gonna do this for, or this person that does the exercise. I try to try formulate and guess how they will do. So I just know the fact that I didn't treat the SI is gonna come right back, right? It all depends on other factors, obviously. Did I have enough time to give her an extension exercise over here? Did I have enough time to train her to do transverse abdominals or tips training over here, all right? So how's, this gonna, how's this gonna stick? Okay, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's practice, practice doing extension mobilizations, okay? All right.